Ken Surfs here with another video. This time it's not going to be a shave video, but we're going to review some uh, vintage aftershave and compare it to the uh, modern versions of those aftershaves. And uh, I was going to do just Brute alone, but uh, somebody had asked about the, uh, it's kind of neat when you see something in the background, people ask about it. They'd ask about the vintage old spice. So what I have today to compare is we have a vintage Old Spice still in the box and I have the collector's decanter still in the box but barely anything left in this one and we have the new modern uh, box of uh, Old Spice and actually those bottles there's the original, and here is the modern version. Well, we're going to compare them, and I'm going to give my opinions on those. Then I'm going to compare uh, the Brute, and here is the uh, Fabergé Brute in the original plastic container. And uh, it's got a pretty good amount of uh, liquid left in it, which was really nice. And we'll compare that with the... Uh, the Brute Classic Scent, uh, modern day version. And there are two other modern day versions, the uh, Dominant and the Attitude. And uh, I'll give my thoughts on those two. And again, if this video runs long, I apologize. Uh, we'll probably do a shave afterwards. And uh, on the Brute products, if you wanna see a really good video, I mentioned it earlier, check out Paul H. Films. He's out of England and he did a really good uh, comparison on the Brute. But we'll start out with the Old Spice and uh, with it, here's a vintage Old Spice uh, aftershave commercial. Wake up. Wake up with Old Spice and feel the freshness of the open sea. Wake up with Old Spice, feel the spray on your face, and the wind at your back. Come on, wake up to the freshness of the open sea with Old Spice, and get a super smooth shave with Old Spice Shave Cream. All right, what's cool with Old Spice is there, there is a website out there that uh, gives you every detail so you can kind of narrow down what year your products came from. It tells you when the boxes changed uh, uh, their configuration, when the sails changed on the boat, when the flag on the boat changed. You can go year by year and kind of narrow yours down. And I have narrowed mine down. The, uh, the original uh, here, uh, I, got it, uh, I got it off the internet. eBay again, great place to find stuff, almost full. Uh, this came from between 1967 and 1973. Uh, something about the flags on the boat and then the packaging uh, when they, they're, you know, they have it as soon as they start putting the milliliters and ounces below the uh, aftershave or the Schulten, you can tell what year it is. So this was between 67 and uh, 72. And the decanter, it's the black decanter, the telescope, uh, it is from 1975. And I got this at an antique store in Temecula, and uh, but it's it, she's almost gone. This one, and then uh, the modern day I uh, got from Rite Aid today. So uh, this is the modern day version. Uh, so the differences that I found, well, it's easy. The uh, the uh, original Brute and or the original uh, Old Spice and this Old Spice, they're identical. I mean, they smell they smell identical. And this is a very strong scent. It's been sitting in the bottle for years. Still, what's left of that scent is very strong. But compared to this, man, the scent's there, but it's barely noticeable. At least I can't. So, big difference between the original and this. It's close, but the strength is definitely not there. I don't know if that's because uh, the amount of the perfume or whatever they use in it uh, is not there. But this, this definitely does not smell as strong. It's similar, but does not smell as strong to the uh, original Old Spice. But uh, they got it close. Now, going to the Brute. Uh, the Brute, on the other hand, it's hard to tell what year these came from. Uh, obviously, uh, between 1972 and uh, mid-80s, or early 80s, Fabergé was, uh, was coming out with Brute. And if you, have, if you know more in the comments, please let me know. But uh, 
we should hit another commercial too. Here's a classic Joe Namath commercial for Brute. Get off to a run and start. Today's your Brute day. It's your lucky Brute day. Make every day your Brute day with Brute by Fabergé. Today. All right, love those commercials. Now this Brute, it's been on the shelf for a long time too, but it does have a strong scent to it. I mean, you can smell it really good. And if you put it on you, immediately, it's a very strong scent. Now, the new version, it's lighter scent, and it's got more of a powdery smell to it. But I'm going to plagiarize Paul H. Films again. I did a good, good trick. I put uh, uh, some of this on uh, one arm, and I put this on the other arm. And this one I could smell real good. But surprisingly, after about one hour, I couldn't tell which was which. They both were about the same scent. So the strong original Brute will uh, tone down and uh, stop, stop being so strong after about an hour. And then I couldn't tell. Then they seemed like a balanced equal. Now these two fragrances, uh, the Attitude and the uh, Dominant, uh, which you've probably seen, I've done videos on, I had to ask my uh, wife and daughter to help me uh, give some descriptions on these. Because to me, you know, I'm a guy. Well, we can't tell uh, really uh, the smells precisely. But uh, the ladies helped. But uh, the attitude, that smells like a strong, manly, uh, manly scent. And uh, I like this one uh, better out of the two. The other one is a little weaker. And it smells like some, it's got some flavor. I mean, it smells like something you could drink. I, I wouldn't, uh, but uh, it smells, it's got some fruit smell in it, but it's a little mellower. Uh, it's not as strong. And you'd think it would be because uh, dominant. Now, I believe these two products are made by, well, they're made by Brute World, but I don't, somebody I had read on a, uh, Amazon that uh, they're made in Mexico or they were from the Mexico market. Uh, and it's got uh, Nuevo Lotion, but uh, I'm not positive on that. And I, th I think this one they don't make no more. One of them is a huge price difference now. I think it's 19 versus 9 uh, because uh, they're not making, I think it's this one anymore. But they are still available and you can find them on sale. So uh, if you get a chance to try these and you're only going to get one, I, I would recommend this one. This one is a lot softer smell. This one is a lot stronger. Well, uh, that is my comparison, uh, pretty quick and uh, to the point, but uh, it, it, at least what's nice to know is the uh, classic Brute still smells close to the original. Not quite, but close, but after one hour, it smells just the same as the original. The Old Spice, that's pretty weak. So what I'm going to do is I will do a shave video next, and I will use the new Old Spice, and I'll slap that stuff on, and I'll see if uh, that, you know, if I can smell that a little stronger. But uh, hey, the price is right. You can still get it under eight bucks inside the... Uh, inside the uh, department stores or the, uh, the grocery stores, but uh, not as good as the original. It's always cool to have some originals on hand, at least for display purposes. All right, well, uh, that's my opinions, and I hope you like them. And uh, subscriptions and uh, comments are always appreciated. All right, thanks a lot. Until next time, it's uh, Ken Surf saying have a great day.